Quiet Life, a refugee drama that just debuted at the Venice Film Festival. Here's my review. It's the year 2018 in Sweden and we're introduced to a family from Russia who are waiting for a decision from immigration in Sweden if they can gain asylum in Sweden and start a new life. There is the father, Sergei, played by Gregory Dobijing, the mother, Natalia, played by Chopin Kamatova, and their two young daughters, Elena, played by Naomi Lump, and Katja, played by Miloslava Pashotina. Sergei and Natalia were both teachers in Russia. They are also both openly against uh, the Russian uh, government. And uh, Sergei is caught by government officials handing out uh, anti-government books and pamphlets. And the officials warn him to stop doing so, but he doesn't listen. Government officials in Russia start making threats against Sergei and his family. One day, Sergei is picking up uh, one of his, his youngest daughter from school and he's ambushed. And during the attack, he is stabbed in his uh, stomach with a knife. The family then go into hiding and then fearing for their safety, they eventually flee Russia and end up in Sweden. They are given an, an apartment to live in in Sweden while they are waiting for their asylum application to be approved or denied. They occasionally get visits from immigration officials just to see how they live and how they are settling into Swedish life. Their application for asylum is eventually denied because there is lack of evidence that they would be a danger if they returned to Russia. They can appeal to their decision if their youngest daughter Katya uh, gives evidence that he, she saw her father uh, during the attack being stabbed by the knife by uh, Russian officials. But the stress of the immigration asylum process application is too much for the youngest daughter Katya. Uh, one day at school she feels faint and she falls to the ground and eventually fall, she falls into a coma and she's, she is taken to a special clinic to be taken care of. <laughs> Quiet Life is directed by Alexandros Avranos who has directed films like Love Me Not and the crime thriller Dark Crimes with Jim Curry and probably his uh, most acclaimed film Miss Violence which debuted at the 2013 uh, Venice Film Festival. Quiet Life is a handsome, absorbing, absorbing drama but it's also frustratingly simple and too straightforward. It hint, keeps hinting uh, as the film goes on that Something else is coming, but nothing ever comes. It really is just a simple story. Some of the details and the laws regarding the, um, the Swedish immigration process and also Katya's stay in a medical facility are a little bit confusing and uh, are lacking in uh, coherence. Without giving too much away, but there is, uh, towards the end of the film, there is one scene where Sergei and Natalia do something with their daughters and they're told if they do this with their daughters it will affect their asylum status but they do it anyway and then there's no consequence um, when they do it so it's a little bit confusing. Quiet life feels like a missed opportunity to explore the illness called child resignation syndrome where children mostly from Soviet and Yugoslav countries uh, they go into Sweden, escape from their country, go into Sweden and um, the stress of this process um, causes them to faint and go into a coma. There have been thousands of cases of this syndrome, this illness and in 2014 the Swedish uh, government officially recognised it as, an official, as a proper illness and thus this film is set in 2018 and we can see there are already many facilities set up to uh, look after these uh, children who have fainted, fall into a coma, and to look after them and study them. 
but despite my frustrations, Quiet Life is a film definitely worth seeing. The simple immigration story that it does tell is absorbing and the performances are all very solid, especially from the two young girls who play the um, daughters. The film looks fantastic and the film is full of uh, immigrants who have already gained asylum into Sweden and they're always willing to help uh, this new family in Sweden with whatever they need. So it was nice to see this uh, humanity in the film. I give Quiet Life three stars out of five. It's equal measures, absorbing, but also frustratingly simple and just a little bit um, frustrating at times. But definitely worth seeing Quiet Life. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you next time.